Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I'm so excited for today's video. I love these Amazon videos and I know you guys love them too. Um, the theme for the Amazon video today is organization. I feel like this is the time of year we've all been decluttering, we were getting stuff out of our house and now it's time to get organized. So I'm gonna be sharing with you some amazing products that I'm using now and love and I'm also gonna be testing some new ones out for you as well so we can find out on camera are they good? Are they worth the money? So if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below and let's jump straight into today's video. Okay, so we're going to be starting off in my kitchen because who doesn't need some good organizers in the kitchen? I will say these first products I already own, but they came out in different colors. So I wanted to show you the option if you like this color and then I'll show you the ones I have as well um, in my drawers and I'm actually going to switch them out for you guys. But these little storage box sets are amazing like they keep your baggies looking so nice and neat when you open up the drawer it's not a cluttered mess they're not going everywhere you can see when you're getting low love 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 these and now they're in black i think these are gorgeous they're gonna look so good in my drawers and i'm actually really excited to take them with me to the new house but let's go ahead and switch them out here and i'll show you the ones i have now so you can see the different color options so here is my drawer currently, and I love these. Another feature I love about these individual boxes, and I'll show you here in a second, is that you can design them anyway. So if you get the one where it's like a rectangle, it can only fit in the drawer that way. I kind of like that they're individual because if you want to line them up this way or have them all spaced out, each one of these are individual. So even if you need to break them up with two drawers, maybe you have really small drawers, these can just be customized a lot easier than if you just get it where it's all one piece so keep that in mind. I wanted to show you that this actually makes a really good gift because it comes really nice. Like I love the box, it comes in bubble wrap, it's thin and plastic that you can like rip this to actually get it open. So it's all protected, it's not damaged. So this would be even like a really good shower gift or wedding gift. And then what I love about this one, it comes with these clear little things so you can put them on the bottom so they won't slide around every time you like open and close your drawer. So I did add the little clear stoppers down here, but keep in mind if you didn't have that, um, on my last ones I just bought Tiki Tac and that works too. So if you need something like that, you can just grab Tiki Tac from like Hobby Lobby or Walmart or anything and put it down on any of your drawer dividers so it keeps them from like moving around. look how good that looks but keep in mind if you already have these you could totally diy them if you want the black if you have a cricket you could cut out um, with letters on any color and then just spray paint these any color you want to um, if you don't have a cricket you could just go to walmart or order just stickers that have letters and just put it on there then you can make it say pretty much anything you want what I would do is put it on this side that doesn't have anything on it and then spray paint it all black and you shouldn't really see it. So if you want black, you can DIY it. If you don't want to DIY, you can order it. But either way, both of them are gorgeous. I just really wanted some black in here. 
Now let's talk about storage under the sink right here. This is where it can get super messy if you don't have any organizers or you don't have a system that works for you. So recently, oh, it's probably been less than a year ago, I worked on this and what I used was shoe storage bins because they slide really well and they're stackable. So I can link some of those for you. Just kind of measure it out and see how wide these are, how tall you can go up. And then I wanted one bin that wasn't drawers just so I could like put my cleaners in it. Love this, it's worked so well. But another option you can do is something like this. So I'm gonna try this under one of my sink bathrooms because I always have stuff underneath there as well but you could use it under a kitchen, under a bathroom, anywhere you have something under a sink and you need more storage. So it's all about getting that vertical storage. You can only put so much down here, but if you can get another shelf in there, then you have just like more usable storage that you're not wasting. So this is gonna be real life for you. This is what it looks like under my sink. I like to keep cleaners in here because if I have cleaners in the space, I'm more likely to clean things then if I have to go to another room to grab it, but you can tell it's just not done well, it works, but we could probably do better. I like to keep a trash can in here. So let's give this space a glow up. So here it is put together. Basically you get this top and then these legs just slide and pop into place. But I wanted to show you, um, it's adjustable. So all you do is pull on these and you can make it as short or as long. So that's as long as it will go. But if you need it shorter, you just push it in. This one does the same and then it also gets wider. So you can adjust it to the size of your cabinet. There's several different ways to use this. If you need two, you can, if you need it to go like around your pipes you can. I did mine this way so I have everything forward but if your pipe's different you can turn it sideways just adjust it however you need to but I have mine going like around this and then I can put stuff underneath it I can put stuff on top of it so now let's get it back organized. Can we talk about the glow up here? Like this is crazy. I wish I would have bought this sooner. I'm gonna be buying this for underneath every sink here <laughs> and then I'm taking it to the new house with us. Like it just, it gave us so much more space. It looks so much nicer. Like I said, you can turn it different ways. So like see how right here they went behind that. So if you need more like of an open space there, but just make it work for your house. But I am super, super impressed. I'm putting one in my cart now because his cabinet over here is rough <laughs> and I want it to look like this. So I will be doing this to all my cabinets now. I have two more products I wanna talk about for the kitchen and one is for K-cups. Um, I feel like you can put them out in like a jar, like on top of your cabinets, but it can get cluttered looking. If you have a drawer to put one of these in, and I'll link like different sizes, but it's just like a foam. It was super affordable. Obviously I need to refill some, but I love that this keeps them all lined up. I love that you can see all the different kinds you have. Um, I also have one of these dividers. I need to put those clear things on that. <laughs> um, for straws and then we keep a coffee creamer in our fridge but these are just backup and then in the very back I just keep um, like our coffee filters for it but this right here is absolutely amazing so if you don't have one of those in your life declutter a drawer get it and you can thank me later. 
Now moving on to the next product, and it's conveniently next to the last one, and it's this battery organizer. So I'll link this for you as well. I will say most of them come with a lid. I ripped that off because I got sick of like opening the drawer and then having to open the lid. So I took mine off, but you don't have to. But I love that you can see all the batteries you have. You can see the ones you need to get so you don't have to like dig through a bag or a jar of them. It also has a battery tester. So say your remote or a toy or something like that stops working and you don't know if it's the actual product or if it's the battery you can just take the battery out and test it in that so so cool all different colors all different styles of it but I'm telling you this is something that every time someone opens this drawer they go home and um, like order it so this would make a really good gift too I'm like still in the gift mode <laughs> since we're like coming off Christmas but there's still like birthdays and different things going on in the world so if you need a good gift especially for like a guy like women would love this in their kitchen but a guy would like it as well so just remember that when you have to get something okay so now let's move on to a different area of the house and we're going to start talking about your closet it's kind of like the kitchen we can probably all use some gadgets in there to get it under control, to get organized. When you're organized, you're not looking for things as often. It saves you time, it saves you energy, it saves you stress. So look at it when you're thinking about these products. Is it going to make your life easier in 2023? Because that's kind of my goal is just to like make life a little bit easier on the areas I can. I think I've done it once at every house. Like what can I tweak to make life a little bit easier? And sometimes it's just an Amazon order away so I got three products to share so let's go ahead and head back into my closet keep in mind I keep it very simple in here like I don't have a ton of clothes like I could fill up all that rack technically all of this could just go onto that one rack um, so I don't keep a ton of clothes but I feel like most people do so I'm gonna give you some solutions so if you like your clothes you don't want to declutter or you did and you still have a lot but you're still looking for more space maybe you have a smaller closet um, and you're needing to keep those clothes but you don't know how the first product um, are for pants so I have my pants all across here say I didn't have that gap and I needed them to go into a smaller space that is what this product's for so let's try it out This looks so much better, more organized, and honestly, I didn't think it would be a big difference just how it was there, like not pulling it down. So even if you just want your pants to look cleaner when you walk in, or you know, when I say cleaner, I mean like organized your entire closet. So with my jeans, I only put one on each hanger. You could probably do two, but I just wanna be able to see mine. Now, when it came to my leggings, I did two because most leggings, I have like two of the same pair because I like them so much, I'll grab two. So um, like these are the same two though, so it held it just fine. But the perk of this and why I got it is so all you have to do is pick one side and let go and it gives you so much room. So we went from filling up that rack to honestly, you could have like four of those in that small space. So think how many more pants you could get in there if you really wanted to. Now this is all I have, so I prefer it to be left up, but you could also hang this on a door or whatever. Say your kids are going to college and they're gonna have a tiny closet or you live in an older home because they have smaller closets. Definitely just keep this in mind because your pants look nicer, they're taken care of. They even have like nice grippers here so they're not gonna slide off. Overall, I think it's definitely a win. And just a side note, it gives you that many extra hangers. If you're not trying to buy new hangers, <laughs> you could still have some left over. 
One more thing, just in case you're wondering, it does come as a two pack. So that wasn't two boxes. If you order these um, in the link that I'm putting down below, you'll get two of them. So maybe you only need one and your husband can have one. Maybe you need a total of four, so you order two boxes. But I did wanna let you know that those two come in one box. It's time to talk about shoes. <laughs> a lot of women have shoes. A lot of guys like have sneakers and their shoes now. So closets can be overwhelming, especially if you have small ones. So as you can see, I'm pretty much pared down. I like to keep what I have space for. I did have this left over. Um, so I have like sandals over there. Say I didn't have the room for that or didn't want to spend the money on that. I went ahead and grabbed this product because I feel like I see a lot of organizers use stuff like this. I follow a lot of organizers on Instagram just because organization literally just makes my soul so happy. So I wanted to test this product out for you guys to see if it made a big difference. Was it easy to use? What do I think about it? So I'm gonna work on this and maybe see if I can get all of these onto there if you're trying to work within that space. We got all these put together. What's nice is the 20 piece set, you get 20. Normally I feel like they count both pieces, like it takes two pieces to put it together. But when you're ordering the 20 piece set, you get 20 things for shoes, which is plenty. And I think Chase said there's even a 40 set. I wanted to show you there's different levels. So depending on if you have like a heel or a wedge or whatever you're doing, it has different levels you can choose from to adjust. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this space. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know if I was gonna like these. I thought maybe it was gonna look cheap in here. Oh my goodness, so all these shoes took up two shelves, and I think I even had like an extra pair that wouldn't fit, if I remember right, I may be wrong, but now they all fit on one shelf, and it looks like a store. Like, all my tennis shoes right there on one shelf. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, but I had to stop because I was so impressed. <laughs> I just cannot believe this. Like I really fully believed I was gonna show this and then just switch it back. I was just showing you guys if you needed more storage, then you could have it. And I thought I had plenty because I had this guy over here, but technically I don't even need it. That is all gone. I still have two things left. Um, I did wanna show you on the hill so you could see it does fit hill. So that's why it's adjustable is so this wasn't like smashing under that so you can raise it. And then this has like grippers and it even has like a spot for you to like rest the toe on so it doesn't slide. Um, but like my heels, I have plenty enough room, but I'm loving this so much. Like I had no idea how much I was gonna love that. Guys, I am just so happy with the way all these products are turning out. Like, I feel like my closet is brand new right now. Um, but the next thing I wanted to talk about is if you have to hang any of your bags or purses and you're always worried with like the leather straps or whatever, if they're gonna get bent or worn. Um, I found this product, you can see it right there. I pulled it out and these would look really nice in a closet. Now in my closet, I actually have a shelving so I don't have to, but the purse that I carry every day, I come in and hang it on my mud room hook and I'm always worried it's just messing up the leather because it just pulls really tight on it in a V. This kind of keeps it safer so I think I'm just gonna hang this in my laundry room and then every day I just slide my purse onto it when I come and go. So that's where I'm gonna test it out today but remember this could be in your closet as well. This is real life again, so you can tell we just hang our jackets up. Sometimes I try to put our purses just over our jackets, but then it really pulls on it. Now Savannah's isn't a big deal because it's not like leather, but mine I just always wonder like when it's pulling on this, how it's doing. So let me hook up this guy and see if that helps at all. This 
this makes me feel so much better. See how like all the weight of it is kind of like spread out and then it's not creasing the leather. Um, so if you have nice purses or you just don't want your purse to wear out quickly, especially if it's like a type of leather, this is really cool. I also think it would look really neat um, spaced out in a closet. I'm gonna grab another purse just so you can see like one that doesn't have a long strap, but I'm gonna be leaving that there just so every time I hang up my purse, it's nice and safe right there. As you can see, it works really well for like, if you don't have a strap and it's just handles, it molds that piece really well. If you don't wanna just have it sitting, you want it hung. So once again, I'm super impressed. We did really well picking out products this time. I feel like sometimes I had fails and I really thought the shoe one was gonna be my fail and I'm like in love with it in there. Okay. So I have a few more products I wanna share with you that are like spaced out throughout the house. It's not like one certain room. So the next two have to deal with phone chargers and cords. I know you have a bin of them. I know they're on your nightstand. <laughs> so I got some solutions for you if you wanna try these out. So for me, I already solved this problem. I ordered these during an Amazon video a while back. For me, this is a win. I love it. My watch charger is on here, and then it comes with these extra things that make it magnetic. They say it'll hook onto that anyways, but I feel like it doesn't hook as strong as like the magnet, um, but I love this. I just throw my watch on there at night. I do my phone. I put it back when I'm done, so I'll link this for you if you like this style, but Chase wasn't loving it, so I got something else to try. This is his side of the bed, and I think he really likes this one. This is for his watch, and he can just lay it on there, and it charges. So I'll link that for you because it's on Amazon, but he never puts his cord back <laughs> on this. So I don't think he's using it, so I'm going to go ahead and take it away. What I did find, and this comes as a two-pack, and you get a long one and a short one. I'm going to do the short one in here because he really only has one cord. Um, and all you do is peel that off and stick it on back here and then hook the cord in. So I'm going to set that up so we can try it out. That literally took like two seconds to do. All you do is hook it in. You can put as many cords in there as you like. Doesn't have to be like on your nightstand. You can use it anywhere and then he can just pull it, charge, and then let it stay there. Basically, it'll just keep it from dropping back or if you wanna slide it back in, like if cords bother you, um, you can even unhook it. It pushes in like super easy. Since I'm on camera, it's not going to, but it just like pushes in like that. And like I said, it comes as a two pack. So that one has three slots and this one has five and I'm pretty sure they come in at different colors. So you can check that out if you need it. And I'll link this. <laughs> And this as well. Now we're gonna talk about some cords because I always have chargers everywhere because when family comes in they need them. I will say I'm gonna keep these because it's nice to have them but I bought this for myself during Christmas and it has been a game changer. This is a splurge so most of my items on this video are like $30 or less. This is more but I'm gonna go ahead and link it but basically you just pull it out and then all you do is unhook it from here and then you plug it into your phone. See that? You can charge this at home if you wanna take it in the car with you. Whatever you're doing, it's so nice to have and then all you do is slide it back in and it keeps it charged. It looks like a mini toaster if you ask me. But if you can't afford this, I'm gonna show you the other option. I will say when you order this, you only get like two of them that go into like an Apple phone. They have all different chargers. Um, that plug into different items and so I just ordered three more of those so all of these will charge iPhones. It was so helpful during the holiday. So if you need something like that I'm going to link it but if you just have a bunch of cords I'm going to show you the solution and then I'm going to do it and make this look really really nice. We're going to do another little glow up here. I did some research and I was searching Amazon for ways to store or organize your cords and this is what I came up with. I love that it's clear and see-through so you can see what's in there. I love that um, it's just not a lot of color, but it's easy to use. Just this just lifts off and you put all your cords in there and then like the adapter here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. What's nice is it's really narrow too. So if you have like a ton of cords, you could buy several and just line them up together. So let's see if this really works and if it makes this mess over here <laughs> look a lot better. I 
I just got them all put in there and it holds them really well. I will say I went ahead and grabbed one of my like longer cords out of here and this is like really, 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 really long. It doesn't really work in here. It would work on this side. So if you didn't want to put these in there, you could probably put two or three of the long cords just stacked on top of each other. So keep that in mind. If you have all long cords, um, they're probably not going to fit in these areas, but like the cord it comes with, or even a little bit longer works just fine. It's just, this is like really long. Um, so it's actually nice. I could get a few of those to put the rest of them in. And I just think it'd be really nice sitting out versus it just being like all crammed in here. And then I'll just keep this thing in there. It's like our smart plugins. Um, so I have the smart plugins and then all of our chargers. Then if guests need to grab one, they can just come in here and grab it, plug it in and they're good to go. This next item I actually shared over on Instagram when it came in because I was so impressed. I got so sick of our toothbrushes plugged in and cords being everywhere. I just don't even feel like it's safe with water. And so I found this little gadget and basically you put in your charger and the cord goes in here and then you plug it in and then your toothbrush stays off the countertop. There's no cord anywhere. I just feel like it looks so much better. It looks nicer. Um, I will link any toothbrush that I can find that they have this option for. I don't know how many they're going to have. Now, if you have the toothbrushes like mine, obviously I'll have those linked, but I just feel like you look in and it's so much cleaner and crisper and just more organized instead of like cords all over your countertops. I wanted to walk back in here one more time just to show you some of the stuff we worked on because I'm so impressed. I'm so happy with this. I'm going to have to get rid of that now. I love how my pants look here. They just look so much nicer. And then over here on this side, um, a product I always want to share um, are these hat organizers. Um, I'll have those linked as well. I feel like they're just so helpful. We have belt organizers. Basically, I'm going to do a whole home tour that's just based on organization and what I'm using in my cabinets all of that fun stuff. So definitely be on the lookout for that video. It's gonna be coming out shortly, um, just cause I love to stay organized. Um, cause we have lots of just different gadgets and different things I've done to help with that. So if you need to help getting your house organized, I will put together that video for you. Okay guys, you'll have to let me know down below which product is your favorite, which one are you ordering, which one do you need in your life. Um, it was so fun testing these out with you guys, so thank you so much for being here. Once again, all those links are down below in my description box if you need them. You can also visit me and my husband over on Instagram. He has a dill chaser page where he's always posting amazing dills and like 98% of them are Amazon. And then I have my account as well and we're currently building our dream home so you can follow along in that process but thank you guys so much for being here and i will see you guys in the next one bye